Masters. Jig. Big thing, basket. Uh, Jig. Right, let's take them. Hello everyone, we are watching now later on YouTube, Helene here, and now it catches on. It's been, it's been listening to the game the entire time there, and only now it's... Yeah. Helene here, along with... Rekir! The confused! Yeah, OBS was being a prick again, with uh, just not recognizing the game, even though it'd been listening to it <laughs> for three minutes there. But, uh, yeah... Welcome back to Bloodstained, Rich Love the Night, for the 11th episode, I think. You forgot to double check, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, well, I had to rush a bit there because with dinner being late and such. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I have a feeling that we'll be finishing this game. Uh, well, we might finish this game in this stream. Though we had said that we'd go look at the optional rooms again yeah and um, wait we did see also we probably also make uh, make a room with uh, the other guy the other who sangetsu uh yeah we okay yeah i, I forgot <laughs> i'd completely forgotten that he has its own mode uh yeah, yeah. yeah we could certainly give it we could certainly play as him as well maybe take mm, we, we can do this. We finish the, the uh, uh, Miriam story. Then we have a little pause with another game before we go to Sangetsu. Uh, maybe a short game. It probably would help to keep things somewhat close to each other. Yeah. Um, let's see. The millionaire's room was over here. Ah, so these little annoying things. Hey. Myself, myself would be just fine with some gets you off the beast, but uh, the whole spot in case you want some variety. We'll have to see how far we actually get. So, uh, hello. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, we're fighting a possessed casino <laughs> slot machine. It's a slot machine? Maybe? Wait, no. where, where did the demon girl go? Oh, oh, that has a lot of health. <laughs> it, and it it just stole some of our money. Wait, another boss of his money? By the looks of it, yeah. Okay, it's immortal during that. And then it just steals money again. Where it seems to be dropping some of it on the floor. Yeah, but it seems like it uses money to keep it. Oh. Come on. It used our own money as ammo? I don't think that was it. Okay, yeah. That, that thing has uh, a lot of health. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> I'm I'm actually not sure if we can beat that, but that is just an, abs an absolutely absurd amount of health. Yeah. <coughs> it's one bit wrong there. Uh, is this another of those spots we should have no money on when we fix him? Uh, actually, how much do we have? 4,000 about. Almost 5,000. Hmm, we'll have to see a bit, but for now, let's take a look at the last of these uh, special rooms. And I forgot to turn this thing on. There we go. It, the tradition survives. There's always something going wrong, and this time it was the freaking reading light. Yeah, and I just remember, we were supposed to check off on the guy who always gets lost. Uh, yeah, we need to find him somewhere. Uh, where did you no, say he we... was again? At the very start, at the Japanese area. Okay. Uh... Uh, 
the hell? <laughs> Come on! What? Reverend, Reverend? Yeah, this is this supposed to be an undead uh, Alucard? No, not Alucard. Uh, Belmont. You were to whip and all everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, pre I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be a joke on the Belmonts. He is pretty slow, though, and we've already beaten down a lot of his health. Though he hurt still hurts us like an absolute motherfucker with these attacks. Okay, I think the only sub-attack that we haven't seen now yet is uh, Holy Water. Yep. Okay, this one, I, I, this one I'm pretty sure we can beat unless he has a second phase. Uh, Wouldn't in this case be on Holy Water? <laughs> Probably. Um, we are, are we actually out of food? We are... I hesitate to call this food. <laughs> We probably should go and buy healing and such. Oh, come on. Okay, it's a bit unpredictable with its attacks. You may be thinking. Yep. Oh, oh, oh. Never mind. <laughs> he says no, that. Really <laughs> I forgot. I think you look at your health by mistake. <laughs> I also noticed that you made uh, quite massive damage on him. Well, uh, yeah, we, sh we should be able to defeat that one at the very least. Because, I, um, Yeah, it has... It's been the last... The last time we played was last week, so it has been a bit more time than usual with streaming. But I think I said I'd at least uh, try to fight these extra bosses, and I just noticed that... There's a wait. There's a room up up there that we haven't explored. Yeah, but uh, yeah, uh, if you go to there now to the Yemenis area, I should be able to point you where the damn pool is. Or he is what the thought area, of the this area by the bridge. Yes, you know. Okay, so around here-ish. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Let's first go take a look. Let's first go take a look at that room up above then. And I just realized that I could probably use invert in those boss fights to avoid a lot of damage. Oh, that's a new one. Tornado Slicer. Unleash a tornado in the designated direction. Ooh. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot. Uh, wait, is this another one of the... I think this is another of the uh, optional boss rooms. That I've just forgotten about. No, not the carpenter, I think. Oh, <laughs> it is the carpenter. <laughs> oh well. Also, the same amount of HP. Moving slowly, it seems to be what these bosses have a bit in common. Oh, there he goes again with that. Okay, even those things have a thousand HP. And... Is there a way to stop that? Okay. <laughs> yeah. What the heck? I, it looks like the carpenter is probably going to be the toughest of them all because of those demon lords he summons in. Which are already a pain on their own. But okay, let's go find Benjamin 
And then we give the uh, war horse another go. Did you need to buy healing and healing? Uh, yeah, we should <laughs> we should stock up on that. But first, Benji. Let's see here. Yeah, this is about midway in. Hmm, I... Oh yeah, uh, test the stream, stream, stream. If it was a bit late today, we definitely are gonna continue, continue it. Uh, well, at least to uh, ten. If I can remember. I could add a bit more time. Uh, let's see, which was the way out again here? That. Okay, one of these is supposed to lead down. It might as well. I get the feeling that is going to be what uh, will drop the bovine plume that we need for the double jump upgrades. Hopefully. Hopefully. Okay, and we tried that one before yet. There. Oh well. Monkeys. Oh, there's also that yep. box still. Yeah, and he's, he's in nearby. I was keeping my eyes down so I missed the obvious demon. Let's see. Where, oh, there he is. There. And. and yeah, when we came here, I saw and uh, told you that he was there, and I was wondering, I said, you were just talking about him, that the soul mother is finally still there, and then I felt that like, there he is, and asked directly how the heck we do get to him, and I am um, still clueless, how do we get to him? Uh, this rock here is differently colored. Flash? Hitting... Hmm. Am I going to need a specific spell or something with that? Because we haven't really seen interactions with the environment much, except for the moving the belts, really. Uh, like we seen up, we saw at the beginning where we had the light fuses with the fire spell. Yeah, or drop entire bells. Uh... Oh, right, that's one. Hmm. See, we can't stomp on it. Is there something else we're missing? <laughs> okay, that's just a freaking laser. <laughs> you have to do, have that tested out or something. Oh, wait. Would the demon be, demons be weak against that? Some would up be weak to it. Mm. Let's see, anything with a blunt edge? How the hell am I supposed to get to you? The fairy isn't even responding to anything. <clears throat> yeah, now, now you can see why I'm confused. Is there supposed to be a secret passage or something? It goes underneath. And it has to be some sort of secret for... How else are we supposed to get there? Hmm. Yeah, 
Now with the whole ninjas thing, you would expect there to be at least one secret passage somewhere. Hmm. But yeah, this this rock is too differently colored to be an instant. So there well, has to be it something. Could be a, it could be a red kiss or a red herring. It could be, yeah, but there haven't been too many of those in this game yet. Uh, play taken. See, is there really nothing? I very much doubt that different familiar would have any. We still have nothing ab about this, really, what it's supposed to do. Like, it gives us a shadow clone, but what effect does it have? I wonder. Will Shadow Clone help you young? A harder or something? Nope. Mm. Actually, we might have to start looking things up again. Because otherwise yeah, we'll what? just be here for 50 minutes. Yeah. It'd be nice if we start to make some progress. For this one is already a bit of, uh... yeah. We, we, we need we need clues here. Let's see. Bloodstained Witch left the night. Benjamin. Button. <laughs> uh, then. Third time. Let's, come on. Oriental parts. After you get invert on a ridge, yeah. You get to him with dimensional rifts. And then there which one name says you get to him with Dimensional Rift after beating Spoiler. Hmm. And let's see. Wow. Wait, do we even have that? I'm guessing maybe that's what we get from the end boss. Which yeah, is most... Or... Yeah, actually... Wait, it could also be for one of the other mini bosses we have. I find that a bit Wait. doubtful still. Oh no, I think I, I know who might drop it. Yeah, who then? The one you almost got top down hell. The, the one that Warhorse? Did... Yeah, Bel he looked like Belmont and he looked like he came out from a rift. True, and he, he was called a Revenant. Yeah, and who orders? We actually were able to at least bring him down and half the hell. Okay, let, let's go take another stab at that one. Yeah, first supplies. Or more slice, <laughs> yeah. Oh, welcome. Well, I haven't seen the nice lady in a while. Have a look around. Oh, what would you like to buy? Okay, just stock up on this these. Oh, thank you. And... Just so adorable. Is this for Paul? Thank you. So, here's the thing. With that accent, some kids will be just outright terrifying with that accent, depending on scenario, or outright oh, annoying, but then they're, 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 they're just almost too cute. Yeah, it's a bit of a big accent. Yeah. I'll go with this. Hmm. So in, there are some few games where I actually just don't oh, want to talk to it because they do not pull off the kid voice well. Or they just do it as most typical, typical kid voice ever. It oh, just makes me cringe. What hmm. the? I'd forgotten about this one. Uh, it does less damage than the Durandal, 
But it has those Wait. secondary damage types. I just realized something. Hmm? It has slash, light, and darkness magic. Yeah. It'll take the Crimsonite that we have that we could also use in armor, I think. But it'd be better to have more damage. And we can also always pick up Crimsonite somewhere later, and that's a new one. Blood Red Dress designed to catch the eye. That's going to be the Bloodless uh, dress, is isn't it? The, uh, the token robot cleavage, aren't they? <laughs> of course. It's... Well, oh, well, never overthinking it. We still haven't found any gold anywhere. Hmm. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised about that. But yeah, let let's exchange the Durandal for this one. This. Hopefully, well, yeah, the <laughs> damage types yeah, will make ensure that it deals a lot more. Yeah, if it feels like it should be with that uh, light and darkness damage, it should be doing some good effect against those that are supposed to be weak against the, one of the other. Let's see. Okay. okay, let's just fill up on potions again, turn those into high potions, and then we move off for before we spend like five minutes here stocking up. I am. Are you eat so? What will it be? Not in the weapons, high potions, and the two. We should probably also look here. Yeah, make a bunch of those. Since these can heal as well, of course. So we'll want as much healing as we can get. Great, I'll go with this. Great. And now we save and then we give the the old horse another try. Yeah, for that one we just felt suspicious. I, I just hope I have. Uh, I'm right again. I just hope I'm right again with this. My, I am correct streak. I just hope I am. Yeah. But otherwise, I am clueless. Yeah, if if we if we beat the war horse, we can go after the millionaire's room because that one moved in a pretty predictable pattern or easy pattern it would do that jump then move up to the opposite corner of the room bring down those cash reins and then steal some of our money yeah and this time we made we reduced the amount of money we have right um, it's, how much do we have at the moment is 1800 hmm yeah, we're probably gonna buy more potions after this boss. And wait, did you save? Yeah. The save is back at the safe house, which, well, the teleporter is the closest way to get to this guy. Oh, uh, no, we don't. How did that. I'm pretty sure I was clear of, the, of him when I got that damage. He doesn't really telegraph much if he's going to jump forwards or backwards. He, he's taking quite the amount of damage from that weapon. They're sneaky motherfucker. What the? He dropped something. In, in brute skull. It, it, Great, that, that is something that we need for one of the armors. Ah, it's gotcha this time. Oh. Okay, yeah, it seems that he only really jumps backwards. Or up. Or 
Okay, go and prove me wrong, you old bastards. We're just going to have to... Actually, I'm also something I also should do is switch to this knight. Ah, ah, oh, come on. So if if he jumps and we're in front of him, he is going to try and hit us. Oh, those those just heal about nothing. That does heal a good amount though. So we should use our freaking magic. Yeah. Oh. Okay, how did I get out of that without getting hit? We froze. Can we rope him? Uh, let's see. I assume this guy would be vulnerable to holy damage, seeing as well he's a clear undead. Yeah. But yeah, let's light him up. <laughs> that was wonderful. But yeah, that was worth it. We shoot them. Motherfucker. Oh, but that, okay, that was the battle cross. <laughs> okay, almost. I saw the devil's number there in his hand. And there we go. <laughs> and we get a level up. And, okay, it seems that these do give extra abilities, and this is. Ruin is rude. So is spinning blade that returns like a boomerang. Okay, so not that dimensional thing that we thought. Yeah. Though, it could be that that's from another beast. Uh, just a, a normal beast. Yeah, but... Have we seen anything that happened to you? Um, let's see. We've seen... Well, demons have been jumping in from other dimensions, but... Yeah, we've gotten the most. We got the most of the the shards that those types give. Oh no! Is it the carpenter? It actually might be. Well, I, I, I was not at least right that he would give us a so a skill. Yes. Yeah. Not the skill I expected. Okay. Let's see. I'm trying to think of what enemy it might be based on the on the length of the spoiler tag. And it was a bit short for Carpenter. So maybe it was for yeah, Grimory is about as long, but still shorter. Okay, let's stock up again. Yeah. Oh, what were you uh, to buy? Is this right? Is this right? Did you ever try to burn the coffin too? Hmm? Yeah, you said? Did you ever try to burn the coffin Uh, no. <laughs> because I keep forgetting about our most powerful spell. I'll go with this. All done. Come back. Hmm. It would make sense since he works with wood. Uh, okay, that would makes vague weird sense. Yeah, let, let's give him another try. We'll have to fight our way through a good amount of enemies to get to them first. Yeah, and this time we have uh, Sir Silverlot. Or Sir Stabalot? Uh, Sir Silver of Night. Yeah, almost.
almost proved me there. <laughs> Have you just been making me no. smile a lot? Okay, this one seems to be doing about 130, 120 damage. I think the Durandal was dealing 100. Yeah, I think this one just lifts the weapon to do heavy more damage against things that's weak against dark or light. Okay, let's see if we can get the power back from you. Uh, okay, that's the sword that we got from one of them a bit a few streams back. Nice. And I'm still grinning. <laughs> you proved me a secret made way today. <laughs> okay, just for a little reset. And wait, I said we should try. Okay, so invert doesn't work in these rooms. Up, up. Come on, you little. F so immediately with that. Okay, just give us plenty of time to burn you then. <laughs> that was already like 2,000 health gone. Can we actually. Okay, I can hide behind this, but I'm also stuck behind it then. Probably should deal with him before he calls in the second. And... Okay. Uh, I don't really have needed to use that one. And yeah, now there's just too much on the screen to really dodge. Andy making another one. Okay, yeah, the carpenter is just hurt him until he summons one. Kill the demon without hurting him enough to make him summon a second one. And yeah, <laughs> then deal with him. Yeah, and maybe something like gives you fire protection? Or there's some fire resistance? Yeah, we have fire resistance already. Oh. Yeah. Yo, there is one more thing we could really do. In a... Let's see. We switch out these. What's this one again? This is the amount of magic stored. Okay, a bit useless. Did we have fire rings? It, it probably. I think it was used up uh, when we made the fire swords. Oh. Okay. This this way we won't be able to see how much health it has, but we'll be dealing more damage to it. Hope quite a bit more. Hopefully. <laughs> At first we have to dodge all of these jackasses. Yep. How far are we for a level? Uh, a lot. Um, that's fine, man. Like, the deep level up uh, against the uh, revenant. Okay, come on. Okay, now we can just run fast. Yeah. Okay, we are a bit hurt, but yeah, with the amount of damage that the, the carpenter is going to throw at, it's not going to matter much. Okay, just try and take it slow. Oh, uh, already? Okay. Yep. Uh, that one was a miss completely on accident. And 
Okay, so he's just going to do that no matter what. Yeah. What the? Okay. Back to the millionaire's room then. Because... Yeah, just to put it plainly... That's bullshit. Because yeah. all the other bosses have a, a set a pattern. It, it can be a quite a difficult pattern uh, to dodge. But they have a pattern. Him summoning in those demon lords... Yeah, as you could see, it fills the fucking screen with death. So, yeah, fuck him. We're going for the I, millionaire. I just realized you have another spell. That's, I think it's a like lightning spell that shoots everywhere. Um, let's see. Vaisha? Yeah, Vaisha was the ice spell, I think. Yeah, but it's not in several directions, correct? Right? Uh, yeah, but it's a lot less powerful. Yeah, but... It kills you everywhere. It, will all, it most likely hit everything. Let's see... Then back to healing. Okay. Okay, do your little hop. Actually, I... Uh, the rain... Uh, I should switch this one back out... For the traverses ring again, for full 19 extra damage. Okay, so nothing... How's it to suck? Okay, it sucks out our cash, but uh, that was completely dodged an accident. Okay. Okay. Well, it's hiding in the corner when it's raining. That will be the good moment to burn it. Damage from that. And that's okay. Uh, uh, bombs. Yeah, bombs. <laughs> okay. Huh? Missed me. Yep. Okay, so did. I jumped into that. So, yeah, its attacks are dependent on random luck for it. Okay, going to charge again, or... Okay, you're, you're going to roll again. Melons again. <laughs> oh, no, I wouldn't that need Burn. Okay, and there we go. Well, here's the thing, I think it's closing to death. I will... Jackpot, use the slot machine to determine the nature of your attack. We're using that. Well, I was about to say, this thing is actually quite easy. <laughs> And I just read the list. What's the trick with the carpenter? Yeah. Okay, what this is, is the one that we got from the from the revenant, and we we don't have enough mana to use it. But get away, you little annoying flies! Oh, I didn't save. Let's see. <laughs> okay, so it is... It is the combat cross, but uh, with three spokes and more jagged. Because in the in the old Castlevania games, the, I've mentioned the sub-weapons a few times. One of them was, well, 
a cross that you could throw and it would come back as like a boomerang like exactly like that okay back to that now where is that other one then jackpot okay <laughs> okay so it has of course it has a chance to do absolutely nothing <laughs> or it does something big like that. Okay, we're using that. Actually, the is, is that the answer to defeat the Covenant? I I doubt that you'd be expected to have a specific power to beat it. Um, but yeah, I so I think you'll just have to somewhat brute force your way through it. No. Let's see, there was one yeah. more room. Yeah, I just feel like there's... You have to attack the him against him. Yeah, he seems to just start on those slabs immediately if he gets the chance. So maybe there's a way to interrupt it. And also I'm looking away for now to look up Celeste's room. Yeah. Wait, Celeste... The one with the music boxes. Because I presume there's a boss in there as well. Yeah, perhaps that one has the dimensional rift. I will have to see. I'm going to avoid looking any spoilers in here. Let's find a special key. There is no secret boss to fight inside. In fact, the room serves no pur purpose other than ambience. Field filled with several music boxes which can be activated by standing in front of it. Da -da -da -da. No known secrets uh, can, that can be uncovered by playing the box in particular order or combination. General consensus is that the entire room exists just for relaxation and to take a break from battle. Okay. Unexpected. Yeah. Uh, especially considering how they don't everything else in this game. Mm-hmm. Trivia, apparently, Celeste is the name of the cat that appears in the portrait and pet of one of the high-tier backers of the game. <laughs> okay, that explains it. And that also ex means that the Carpenter is the only optional boss left. And I, I really don't want to face that thing. <laughs> At least not without getting a lot more levels. And, well... The absolute best gear in the game. Yeah, no. I wonder, should we check up what he rewards us with so we know if we should ignore him or actually go for him? Alright, like, I'll take he, a look at that. Well, if he does drop the skill we need for Benjamin, Odin oh, help us all. Okay, Master Carpenter, optional boss, Imbrute's Bone. Shard Chisel Barrage. So it is again something else that would need to be found and fought. Right, the question is, who the heck drops Dimensional Rift? Yeah, I get the feet. Well, uh, actually, I think we both have a good idea about who it is, probably is. If we just think back to, well, how we got to the, the last area of the game. Through a Dimensional. Grimory? Yep, I think if we be beat her, we get that ability. And, well, it sounds like that's... It sounds like Dimensional Rift is just going to be a teleport. Makes me wonder, is she really the final boss for... Sounds mm. a bit annoying to get to defeat the final boss just to defeat Benjamin. Let's have a quick little look here in the archives. Demons. Uh, okay, there's one still missing there, number 44. Some more over here. But there... Wait. Wasn't it four left? Oh, the optional bosses get put up here. So that does mean that 
there are still four bosses to go. Or four phases. We still have... And we still have 10% of the map to discover. So I, I get the feeling we had it wrong last time. That door wasn't going to lead to the final boss. It's another mid-boss. So one of the mid-bosses may have what we need. Perhaps, yeah. Or well, most likely. We'll just have to see which one of it it is. Yeah, and um, did you say 10% of the map remaining? Wait. Map completion 79.97.9. Uh, didn't it just say... Okay, why would... Did I mistake a 7 for a uh, 1? Maybe. I mistook a 7 for a 1. It... I we'll just have to happened. see what happens. I guess it would happen if one draws smoothly. But here I'm unsure how that happened. Yeah, I get the feeling that... Wait. Aren't we supposed to be able to get in... Oh, there it is. I forgot that we only have one warp room in here. Um... Yeah, there's still this gap here. So, will that lead? And there's still some over here. So, wait, is the... No, oh, I, I think there's only one way we can really find out if the final boss is in there or not. Ask him nicely? <laughs> nope, we gotta go fight him. <laughs> oh. Uh. Why not, uh, you know, ask if you want some uh, biscuit? That way, doesn't it? Ooh, that's where we're heading. No, I, that way. Where are you going? Down here. And, of course, to the, to the safe room <laughs> above it. Okay, because that, if you were thinking about this area, that's blocked off still. Oh, all right, my eyes. Okay, let's see what greets us at the other side of this door. Harold? I have you now. Now, That's a lot of talismans. Fool, you just made your last mistake. Well, good luck, Miriam. Did she just kill him? You may possess the blade now. But without him to wield it, it poses no real threat to me. Wrong, demon. Songetsu's wrath and mine are now one. You used Jebel, and now you will pay! I think this might be the first time that we actually seen her <laughs> really angry. Yeah! <laughs> Very amusing, wench. I do not have time for this, but seeing as I need your crystal, you leave me no choice. Your wretched plans end here! Bale, King of Kings, must be summoned. Prepare to be brought in line! She in three, and how much does the actual Zangetsu, uh, Zangetsu so? do uh, i think i yes i i'm pretty sure i favorite that that's and well it is supposed to be used to kill this guy thing oh yeah that deals extra damage and okay <laughs> that's one way to ensure that it'll deal 
it'll be used more. Okay. See, and those curse. Okay. Of course, I'm not expecting to win on the first go here. This is more to figure out their patterns. And I could probably dodge that by inverting. Those yeah, yeah. I have to say I only now noticed that... Go. Okay, that was a lot of a big, more of a bigger attack than I expected. What the heck was that? A Cthulhu sword? Yeah, more like Cthulhu scissors or something. But yeah, I only just now realized that uh, Grammarie's horn resemble a crescent moon. Seriously? Yep. You only now noticed that? I noticed that since the, the beginning. I have you now. So I just realized now that her skirt is made out of hands. You may possess the yeah, it's a very handy skirt. Without... Uh, switch back to this one. No, you're not breaking away with that one. Okay. Nope. Oh, oh, hello that. Okay, so it, it'll just continue on. Okay, clever game. And it isn't really a skirt, it's more like the rest of her arms. Okay, what's the difference between the red crescents and the one yellow ones? I don't think this uh, uh, cop had uh, lost it, so don't jump on them. Your final hour is coming. Okay, face shift already. Oh, oh. 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 invert. Okay, how am I supposed to dodge that? And that's the... that was the scissors again? <laughs> okay. Yeah, they're going to be a tough one to beat. Do we need more levels? No, we just need to figure out her patterns better and not fail on using the invert spell. Because that, that's what got me stuck uh, getting juggled there. Did we even try to burn her? Uh, nope. Okay. Okay, after the neck if we die again here, we're just We're equipping this and saving so we don't have to keep remembering to do that. Yeah. Okay, it deals less damage, but it deals it faster. A lot faster. Oh, there comes the scissors. Yeah, it's a pair of fucking scissors. I presume we're supposed to be able to slide underneath her. Yeah, it's a pair of fucking scissors. Come, Miriam, pull off the fucking spell. Oh, we didn't restock on those. Right. I'm gonna do a restock. Yeah. Uh, 
if we restock, we just have to run through all of that again. Oh. But we do need the healing potion. Yeah, what we need is to dodge better. <laughs> Uh, Are you telling actually... me to tell you to get good? If we want, I will do it. Get good. Let's see. Nothing better here. What do you think? Well, yeah, what do you think, sir? I'm going to grab a sandwich. Uh, nope, guys. Katana expertise. Or... It's only... Oh, no faster casting on an upgrade. Okay, that that would make that would make the inferno even better because it would just speed it up so much more. But for now, Katan expertise. <laughs> Grab that. Again, okay, so the, the contents are just randomized. And here we go. Again, fourth time to charm. going to presume that okay yeah the red ones we can't break I really need to get my controller checked. Okay, that one we can dodge by simply jumping. Same direction, yes. Okay. Something I should have picked up on early. Jump before inverting to dodge that one. Okay, attempt number five. And I'm back. Welcome back. I didn't die. Uh, no, you you missed another failed attempt. Okay, let's save the inferno. Until we reach the second stage. But I have figured out how to dodge that one better. The red ones we can't break, so we just have to dodge those. Jump, then invert. Jump and invert again. That one we can just dodge by simply moving back. There you are. Ooh, that. Okay, it stops at the same elevation as it starts. Yeah, we only have a single <laughs> potion. Oh. 
And I... I slid, slid into that one. Next time, obey. Okay, I... I... <laughs> I really just have to get good we're now we, uh, that well we're out of money anyways so we can't really buy much more potions anyways uh, e enough for well six now but once we figured out well I figured out the patterns until now. Do you have something to indicate damage to you? Or... Okay. Hit by only one there. <laughs> okay, that was a bit wasted. I see. Okay, it seems that... Oh, come on, I still got the end of that. Okay, just move and jump. <laughs> This again. That one's easy enough to dodge. Come on, you probably have a third face. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's just going to speed up then, huh? Then I almost slid into that. Come on. Uh, out of mana. Those two sealies seem to just scatter around at random. Oop. What? Not a third fate. There we go. Achievement unlocked Moon Scraper. And this is... Dimensional Shift. None! But what happened to Zangetsu? Did she really just wait? Now that we have that rift, we can progress further in here. So that means that oh, I do not want to die to you. Get lost. Yeah, you should probably be able to save Benjamin and get past the ice block. Yep. And, well, being able to teleport now should make it easier to get through places. Let's see, how much reach does it have? A reasonable amount. Alright. First, let's take a check. First, let's take a check. Check behind those walls to see if there's an, a warp room there, perhaps. Okay, just straight through. And there we go. Let's see, what is he? Come on. A warp room here somewhere. Or... Yes, okay. Boss room. Uh... Hmm. Alright, 1.5 left. I'm pretty sure Dominique is going to be behind this door. Yeah, let's. Uh... Yeah. yeah, at least say Benjamin. Okay. 
and who knows, maybe there's some info from Townsfolk that when we... I'm pretty sure Benjamin will give us a lot of money. Hopefully. If he doesn't get his ass lost. Well, uh, he's probably going to get his ass lost again. Because uh, with a quick look that I did it, it also said that he'd be found at the towers. Let's see if I remember. What the is with Benjamin? Easily distractible. No, it was this one here, I think. Yes. And now that we have that, we can also just sort shortcut. This look, yeah, that looks suspicious. Okay, what is this then? Kitsune mask. Ooh. Mm. <laughs> oh, come on. A gift from a fox spirit that holds supernatural power. Certain defense. Okay, yeah, that, that is just plain better than the ribbon. It's less with defenses, but oh well. But seriously. I've seen other iterations of people or, or characters wearing a mask like that on the side, but I do not get at all why. Yeah, either you put you, I can't get why I thought of, but I think I have had to wonder. Oh, wait, I think I know why. It might be a case of you just you put this on top of your head, it's just gonna slide down on your face again. So if you put it on the side, it's not gonna repeatedly slide down on your face. Mm, but. Um, is there a bit of an insight to that? It doesn't look too clean to me, but by the same logic, you just you could just put it on the front of you. It'd be stuck. Uh, I'm guessing you were thinking of like a hair clip or something that would keep it in place. Oh wait, no. I think seriously forgot the band. Yeah, but if if it had that, then you could just as easily put it on the front of your face. Without it having, without it falling off. I mean, like if you wanted to put it up and talk to my property, it doesn't repeatedly fall over your face like a miser. I forgot you can go through walls. And a demon horn. I think we need more, another one of those for one of the other helmets. Ooh. seriously. <laughs> exactly what we were thinking. Uh, yeah. Also, how the hell would you even know of this place? Well, uh, it, it, it wasn't my fault, Miriam, I swear. I hope you're ready to live here forever. Oh, come on. Please, you can't tell me your mind is never wandered. Over yonder. <laughs> For just one split second, I remember this mystic band called Nippon that I heard about, and... Is the monkey messing with his model a bit by jumping in around behind him there? Yeah, yeah the, the monkey's outline is visible through him. <laughs> uh, also, uh... Probably something that a lot of people already know with how anime and such be have become much more uh, common. But uh, Nippon is basically what uh, the Japanese call Japan. Yep, do many Japan we could say Japan still, but they, they kind of use it interchangeably. Nippon is more like the old name for Japan. Okay, it's... Like they, they do occasionally use it. It's a bit similar to how a lot of people call the Netherlands Holland, though that is less accurate because Holland refers to two specific provinces over here. Out of the... Uh... Okay, now I'm just pulling a complete idiot move because I've forgotten how many fucking provinces there are here. Aren't they 
72. No, about 11, I think. Alright, anyways, back to Mr. Uh, easily Distracted. Okay, that is a lot. Arventile's angel achievement unlocked. We are going back to the village, so we all need it to restock. Yep. Also, that's what you get for photobombing. <laughs> oh, but, but yeah, I had it a bit half spoiled that he is just going to show up at the towers so let's take a quick look around there uh oh wait it miriam look who made it over well done i thank heavens for miracles okay so yeah, don't trust the internet always because people will lie on it as well. Because um, some, uh, or did we find him at the towers already, or is it perhaps a bit randomized where he spawns? Good question. No, I know. Sorry for you know, before, but here, take this. Adversity ring. Oh, what is it? Oh, just a little family heirloom. I think it'll serve you better than me. <sighs> Thank you, Benjamin. I appreciate it. I was kind of hoping... Yeah, I was kind of looking forward to whatever I see yeah, pull on him for uh, fucking it up again. You mean actually do the ball put on skull? Yeah. Uh, yeah, but... Yeah, she probably just meant it. It said she'd literally kick him in the face. And she does have high heels, so... Let's see. Adversity <sighs> ring. A ring that causes status inflictions to increase your power. Wait, so if I'm poisoned, it'll give a boost? Let's see, then I, I think we so. have... We don't have poison to test that with. Makes you wonder how much stronger it makes you if you get cursed. Hmm. I'm, pre I'm presuming since we we had to get through quite a bit to get that, that it would be it would give quite the bonus, and we haven't actually checked on the, on the farm here in a bit. In a while. More potatoes. Hmm. We still not count the damn sword again for her, the other one. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to be a bit cheaty with by looking up which specifically drops that. And I don't think it's actually the blood drinker anymore because oh, maybe it's a rare drop. But we've been killing those quite a while, quite a bit now. Hmm. Let's see. I'm going back to Todd for a bit of a last minute makeover. I think we might have gotten a new hairstyle for him. Maybe? I'm sure. <sighs> so, miss. Okay, apparently not. Um, I think I'll have the room for more. Let's. Uh, 
I don't have to say, it sounded like uh, the voice actor really got into her role earlier with this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Put to skull. Okay, that looks nice. And I only now noticed that the, <laughs> the scarf is literally made out of talismans. What the heck? Let's see. There we go, that looks fitting. Jump left, jump right. Oh, big changes, okay. Um, let's take a look through these one last time. It, okay, we hadn't seen that one. Well, <laughs> yeah, we're still missing one... Three, okay. The look suits you fine. Okay, a bit much on the red, but oh well. Yes, I'm a little bit blood dyed. Nothing wrong with that. No, and now, let's see. Get back and buy supplies. Yeah. You need food and healing. Uh, we need a bunch of hay light, or pretty much, I'm pretty sure that means salt for some of the recipes. Hmm. Oh, hello. Oh, what would you like to buy? Is this what pleasure doing business? Actually, also something I should have been doing a lot more. Alchemic Bounty. Hi, Mir. What are we transmuting this time? Okay. I'll go with this. Crafted high potion times three. Yeah, we should have been using that stupid thing a lot more. Yeah. And actually, hadn't we bought a uh, 16-bit uh, coin? Yes, we did. Okay, I'll that means we can this. upgrade this one. Still less damage, but that petrification is good since it seems to instant kill. Yeah, and, and imagine once we get the two, oh. the two bits. We okay, we already had one of the uh, demon horns. Wait, we already have one? Yeah. Oh, we mean, right this one. Ooh, I like it. And that's actually the best one that we can make at the moment. Ooh. Like, this one has a small stat. Well, this is uh, nine ma less attack, one less defense. But it does give. Okay, this is the spellcaster's uh, last one. Okay. Makes sense. Armor. We still need Alexandrite for this one. Whatever that is. Let's see. Is there anything we can tear apart to get Crimsonite out of it? It's the holy one. Lightning. Uh, we we are uh, we've been neglecting this as well. Let's see. Yeah, All right, we missed like... this little bit here, but yeah, yeah, augment intelligence. Intelligence is what is used for our spell damage. But uh, look at the. Oh. I'll go with this. If we upgrade this, we get faster casting. I'll go with this. So what I presume is if we use this. With the Inferno Breath, I'll go with this. then uh, we'll be dealing a lot of damage a lot faster. Right. And we do have a lot of Ectoplasma. Mm. Do I spend or Calcum on that one? No, it has no. been extremely useful. Yeah, but... 
Let's spend one on it. Uh, the hell, just go with it. Now it's max it level. I hope, hope the Oritalicum is not too hard to go by. Let's... Pardon accepted. That's anything that gives Crimsonite. Oh, hello. Okay, that gives gold. This is where we use the flame ring to make it. Ah. Let's see. And no, we have nothing over here at least. We don't want to break that. Imperial armor. If we break that, we get the crimsonite. Oh, 21. Okay, let's take another quick look here. If we break it down for... Oh, we also need a Dior Calcum for that. Oh, well. It would have been only a one defense upgrade anyways. And yeah, I suspect the Coronation one is the more... One we okay. Okay, the, one of the horns is clipping into the hair up front, but this does look nice. Yeah, it kind of suits her. Let's, let's heal up. Actually, we, let's see if they se if they sell Orichalcum or maybe Alexandrite. Or probably not Alexandrite because we haven't found that before. of great things in stock. Oh, what would you like to buy? Let's see. Yeah. No Oracalcum or Alexandrites. Is this Carl? Thank you. Is this Carl? Thank you. Let's just buy a few of all of these so we can make some things with them at least. Part of me is still curious what this discount card will do of how much of a big how much of a discount it would give. This is one of those things that are meant for people that play the game a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to sell that because it, it would end up poisoning someone else. Let's see. Yeah. I think it was maybe said that if I, if we sell something to them that they will have it in stock then. Let's see. They are so wrong to begin with. Okay, let's... What if we sell you iron? Oh, wait, they say in stock. Okay, so, yeah, they don't... <clears throat> they don't get everything that we get. Otherwise, some things would be really easy to farm if you were to just, well, grind cash out again and again someplace. True enough. Hmm. And a part of me feels like... One of the results of this is likely to give a lot of health. That one just gives a bunch of melons. <laughs> um, exploding melons. Okay, that that just seems straight out of Gary's mod. Okay, we don't there have need for this anymore. So, they are favorites, because you replaced the old one. And let's put a 
let's put this one back to the traversers ring. Yeah, it still got us with the freaking bone. All right. Let's see what else the frozen area has in stock for us because we almost ran into that one. Yeah, well, I think like the next boss is likely not uh, her. Yeah, I'd... we still have. Actually, I'm. Let's see. We still have three more bosses in here. Grammary we've already beaten. A demoness of half-human, half-beast form. So one of these is going to be Dominique, but what are these other two? Or are those other hidden bosses? Because there's still that creature that attacked us on the train. Actually, that might be the missing 44. Did we kill that? Uh, no, we got, we got absolutely murdered by that. And again, there's also these five still. Wait. Are you telling me we still not finished that uh, train ride? Oh, well, we finished it, but yeah, we just didn't finish off the secret enemy that we found on it. Okay. Dimension shift. Dimension shift! Dimension shift! Gee, luckily we can't accidentally shift. shift ourselves into a wall. Yeah. But I love anime, but that's one anime thing I am kinda questioning why is why do you say the spell's name as you cast it? Or your ability's name or your technique name you're about to do. I never got uh, understood that. Yeah, uh, I can think of one thing. Like you know, with the X Men, that uh, Professor X oft often has like two fingers on his uh, temple when he's using his ability. Uh, not. Ages, yeah. I watched it. I watched X Men. They released the movies. I never got around to see the series. Yeah, but basically, the idea that uh, many people have is that it's a it's a it's a habit that helps focus. But yeah, with calling out spell names, well, with spell names, it could be that it is a vocal invo invocation of the spell needed to activate it. But yeah. with attacks, uh, yeah. What the? Huh? Okay, I was not expecting whatever this is. So I was wrong that... Wait, are you... You are another shard binder. Memory has failed me. Alfred was afraid of what you could do with the shards. But not I. Look at you. Is that what you wanted? The crystal? You betrayed us, Dominique. Oh, don't think me ungrateful. I have you and Johannes to thank for teaching me the alchemist lore and how to control the shards. Shards, I might add, which you gave to me of your own will. Your sacrifice has become my strength. Why are you doing this? Because once again, the demons appeared, and once again, God stayed silent. While his servants were slaughtered mercilessly, one by one. So I began to wonder, what if there is no God? What if the Lord we grovel and pray before is a lie, and our faith draws power from some other nameless, unspeakable thing? If so, I wash my hands of it. Because God can rot. I decided to seek a higher power. The power to slay gods. 
Do you realize how many people have died as a result? They deserve to die because they were weak and more will follow until I obtain all I desire. This whole mess wasn't enough for you? If the last summoning had been enough, I wouldn't have had to bring you here. You're after a more powerful demon. Cheeple's crystal wasn't enough to summon it, so you needed mine instead. Smart girl. I like that. But your crystal was too clean, too pure. So I made sure you would obtain shards and acclimate yourself to demonic power. Then Gremory could possess you after the battle with Jebel had worn you down. Which is what happens in the second ending. Yep. <sighs> if Zangetsu hadn't betrayed me. No, he... You betrayed him first, so... Technically, he could not have betrayed you, because you, she had betrayed him first. Yeah. Doing the right thing isn't a betrayal. You know what? I never expected to be put in a corner like this. You leave me no choice but to play my final card. The Liber Logate. I will use my crystal and the Liber Logaith to summon Bale, the ultimate demon. Do you realize what will happen to you? Do you? You don't. So I'll tell you. There's a reason Jeebel survived ten years ago. What does he have to do with this? It was in his blood. An exorcist, like me. Our blood suppressed the crystal corruption and effectively spared his life. And now I have surpassed him. I command the crystal through Enochian script. No demon is too powerful for me to summon, even if I cannot keep it here forever. But the process is slow, because I can see the summoning isn't complete. Okay. So are we having a timed boss fight then? Because if we uh -oh. kill her, the summoning will fail. Oh dear. I think you can stop me before then. Oh yes, I do. You don't understand what power is for. You wield it stupidly, arrogantly, and now you will pay the price. Oh, not. <laughs> Okay, a whip. I don't remember a power like that. I'm trying to remember what sort of powers we've, we've sold to her. Because I do get the feeling that her arsenal is probably... Yeah, I, I know for certain that we sold her those. I know we... I know we've been using Witch, and wait, do you want that one of the eggs that I give to her? Uh, not that one. Inferno Breath, and then... Let's see how much faster this goes now. Nope. It doesn't actually cast much faster, okay. Yeah, probably a balance with that one specifically. That was an accidental dodge. Your mama is reloading a lot faster. Okay, so she has fire, ghosts, and light. But it does seem that we at least aren't timed on this. Luckily enough. 
Let's see, double check. I should probably... Yeah, I, I should actually use the jackpot just to see what the hell is going to happen during all of this. So yes, yes, skip, skip, skip. Not melons again. <laughs> That one can simply be dodged underneath. Oh, the knights protected me there. Nothing on the jackpot. Oh, that's the bell. <laughs> okay, that did a good amount. Missed uh, where those were coming up. Oh, I, I can't kill those. Okay, another note written. Okay, enough screwing around with the jackpot. <laughs> yeah, it's not trustworthy for this fight. Like, the bell does quite a lot of damage. Are you uh, sure that spell may actually work against the carpenter. For the room is so small that it will either damage the demons or him regardless. And it seems we have a cameo. Inky? Yep. Why does the Oscar never come for a visit? <laughs> come on, meow you. Meow. Come on. You usually don't shut up when you show up here. <laughs> All right. I'll put you back down. Yes. I don't think I ever heard her say anything. And now she just ink. Indignantly leaves. <laughs> Poor Keith. Uh, yeah, she might have been picked up by the microphone there because I heard her through my headset. Yeah, I didn't hear her. Okay. It makes me yes, yes, skip, 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 skip. I do wonder if we hadn't sold a single shard to her, what then? Okay, she completely went past us there, but it didn't hurt me. Wait. Oh, no contact damage. That is going to make things easier. Oh, I forgot to swap this out. Okay, so you will just crouch as well. I still remember sending her death with oh. Okay, what the hell happened there? Did did she should just completely shoulder charge us into the into the wall? Yes she did. Okay, at least, <laughs> at least that doesn't seem to do too much damage. Okay, I think... This is not how all she's skills and not any skills that she's pulled out. Okay, she can pull that out, that one out really quick.
We probably actually should have cooked something. Yeah. Okay, yes, now she's bringing out the big guns. Is that actually dealing damage was just knock knocking me away? Oh yes, yeah, she is in her second phase, her eye is lighting up. Do we have anything? We have nothing. <laughs> and I get the feeling if we try to... I get the feeling if we try to raise stone out, it'll get blocked. Ah, and now my wishes will be fulfilled. Okay, she is... She is tough with, with how much she, she can pull out of her sleeves. Yeah. And I think she will have these skills regardless if you told her nothing or everything. Um, I, I can't remember everything we've sought her. The ghost for certain. Some yeah, ice but, spells probably as well. But she I'm not sure about the dragon claws. Yeah, the dragon balls and the fire pillars and the light beams. So also, it's best that if, yeah, the light beams and um, fire pillars are not even spells that we have. Yeah, we do have those. Oh. We... oh yeah, I think we never saw her the dragon one. Okay. Okay, we can sort of trick her by standing up straight and then docking. Okay, I really can't tell if that's dealing damage or not. Yeah, if if she can just pull it out that quick, then it it it'd be really a, a real cheap move. In this case, she's in her second form, or second stage. Oh, that almost killed us. <laughs> Do we have that spell? I... Yeah, I'm pretty sure we've never had that spell. Yeah, but here's the thing. If we get every spell that we spell to go to her, that is a very quick way to almost ruin your day. Or have you had any spell to beat the bomb? Okay, that did seem to do some damage, and thank you, Knight, and... <laughs> okay, how are we supposed to dodge that one? Ah... Okay, I'm pretty sure we almost had her there. Hmm. Should we try and get a food or something? Let's give it one more shot. All right. Okay, you can cancel out of attacks by backstabbing. Okay. I picked up on that a, a bit earlier as well, but yeah. <laughs> Forgot. Okay, now that did hurt. Okay.
character. I'm, I'm guessing she has a... She has... I'm guessing she has a set arsenal that she has even when you don't uh, sell her anything. But what you do sell just expands what she has. I think that it could uh, make the important on that and it's a lot of extra programming. Nope. No glowing eyes or no second phase yet. There we go. Uh, so far, all other bosses have had so only two phases. Sit still, you bitch. Missed me. It didn't miss me. <laughs> okay, that one is especially strong that she can pull out just. But I, I had not seen it. I wouldn't have thought that, that yes, she was basically trying to kill gods. Yeah, that, I, I do not know where the hell she got that spell from. Uh, mm. Come on, die already. D. Okay. Oh, uh, uh, hello. Oh, uh, wait. Hello there. Ah, there. The so okay. So immediately after we beat her, we have to face Bale. <laughs> Okay, I'd say that's a good reason to retreat. Yeah, we are not prepared. Puts the alchemy on again. Hmm. Yeah, I I have no idea how we're supposed to uh, avoid the big laser. <laughs> what are we transmuting this time? I'll go with this. Okay, just a normal amount this time. Oh, we, we haven't had uh, that before. This. Chief on cake. Silky sponge cakes are nothing short of a culinary miracle. I'll go with this. Okay. Hold up. You do not make cookies. Great. Yeah, we've made cookies, but we haven't eaten those yet. Heresy. Um. I'll go with this. I I don't get why she just snaps her head like that during the cooking. I'll go with 
this. I want to there. Great. It's not it looks up forward something. Great. It, it's almost like if she's taking all food orders or something. Hmm. Like you turn uh, turn around you head to shot uh, shot back to someone coming up for something. Let's see. We can't upgrade that any further. I, I still have no idea at all what you're supposed to... What Wait, if you rank up, you have more Shadow Clouds? Sinister Skulls, Bovine Plume. Uh, Katana Expedition, no Dachi. Okay. Let's try upgrading that a few times. With this. Let's see if it if it needs another one of those, then we're go going this. to be a bit screwed. Looks like it. Yeah. <laughs> Stop back. Uh, wait, couldn't we buy bronze here? You think so? <gasps> no hope. Uh, there's no reason for us to upgrade that one because we're using a great sword. Um, what would I? What do I need to upgrade that instead? It's good. Ooh, so, question. Let's see. Where is it? Pelicus. What? And that's only iron. Okay. Make two of that. There, all done. I'll go with this. I'll go with this. Oh, faster two-handed attacks. That is that is going to be very useful. And I'm guessing, yeah, it needs another one. Place yourself. And we can't make any more than that. Oh right then. How far if another level do you think? Uh, uh, Five thousand. Not too bad. Oh, what would you like to buy? Is this what oh, thank you? Okay, we'll just spend the last of our money on potions and turn those into high potions. And Put that back on just to get as many and more as we can. What are we transmuting this time? Wait, what? I can. I can only have five of those. Okay. Probably balance reasons. Hmm. Let's see, panacea. What do we need to make that? Holy water. For holy water, we need more than we can have. Stop that. All right, then. And then we set all of this back to where it should. And thank you. And then we have to go walk through all of that again. Yay! And yeah, we're hey. we're getting close to two hours, but yeah, let's keep going a bit more. Yeah, but we're all close. Maybe. Yeah. Let's. At the very least, we're going to get to that save station and give it one or two more tries. At the very least, to figure out how the hell we're supposed to fight Bale. Thank <laughs> you. 
And yeah, we might as well fight a few of these along the way just to maybe get that one more level. Well, these clones are great. So let me say again, it is about some people doing it. So if you take the doom to grind, you can you can do the grind. Hmm. Oh, uh, I should of course favorite that this one. Uh, where is it? Uh, which one? Uh, the dimension that yeah, right over there. <laughs> And I should, of course, also equip it. Oh, shift. So is there a reason why dimension this one is specifically... Dimension okay, shift. just to uh, give you a, an extra shift. bit. Dimension shift. Oh, I think... I think I see how you're supposed to dodge the, uh, the big-ass laser. The dimension shift? Yep. Alright. That made me instinctively roll my eyes. I said, of course. It feels so painfully obvious now. Yeah, you're those Once again, try to try. To, oh, come on! I was out of that. Try to get her to the second phase with out Inferno breath. Then we use Inferno Breath to speed up the second phase. Okay, I get... I don't see a damage counter from that come up, but it does seem to be doing damage. Oh, second phase. I still have no idea how you're supposed to dodge that one. Oh yeah, she accidentally aims that. Hmm. Maybe the shield? Okay, we know we can get the bail. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we just need to figure out. The problem here is that we're actually. Let's take a. Let's get all of that unselected. We don't have any ammo. And yeah, we still have a pretty crappy <laughs> weapon with that, a pistol with that. Yeah. So yeah, that would take absolutely forever. Do you... 
Okay. We know all of her first phase attacks. that for a bit more chip damage even though it hides her somewhat uh, yeah that that attack is kind of bullshit yeah annoying She just charges forwards. Oh, she's in second phrase. Seriously, how were we supposed to dodge that? Wrong section. Okay, quick, Nora, is it directed shield? That doesn't work. Okay, is the trick to avoiding that when to just get behind her quick? Yeah, it's, it takes uh, a bit of a moment to get it around. Uh, okay, that wasn't supposed to happen. to be some signs in her movements. Still no... Okay, there was... Hmm. Like, I do not see at all how we're supposed to dodge that one. Thing it either, honestly, it's supposed to be further way back and crouching, but I don't think it's going to go lower than that. I doubt this one will be of any use to us, even though people did say that it is good for bosses, since well, she's far too dodgy for that. Hmm. Yeah, let's just keep that on. I probably should use the healing, but that... Uh... It heals so little. Yeah. Wait, what do you mean? Look if she leaves a blood on the floor. Uh, seeing as she's mostly crystallized, I doubt that she will. Otherwise, we probably would have noticed all the reds against the blue. Yeah. Yeah, she is not blinking. Wait, there is something. Wait, he is bleeding. Okay, yeah. Okay, she is making certain movements before certain spells. Okay, this is the two are being crystallized. It seems to be hard to make a green. With the dragon spells, she seems to be able to pull out of her ass in an instant. Maybe 
already seem to be high level ranking version. Ah. Okay, just dodge those. Really annoyed that they you can't just attack those. And second phase. Okay, just keep our freaking distance. Let's try and be behind her as often as we can. I I see absolutely no way of really dodging that because if we just if we use dimension rift she just realigns it. But maybe if we if we kneel down and dimension shift to the other side of her, then we'll be able to dodge it. Yeah, she need to redirect it, yes. But her redirection is all from instant. Okay. She dodges aside and yeah, she that she can re pull that off real quick. Ah. Okay, she seems to dodge away for distance. Come on. Yep, yep. Uh, yeah, I very much doubt this is going to work now. Down. Way too late. Not equipment. Okay, I think I just used up an Easter there. Did only do 13 damage there? That did a lot more than 13. Okay, you have to be close now. Yeah, I, I just don't see how you're supposed to deal, dodge that. There we go again. Give me no choice. Level Bail. up. I summon thee to my side. Okay, but hold on a second. Something that might help now. Once we get control. Okay, what are your weaknesses? Minus darkness. Makes sort of sense. <laughs> A fool who believed demonic power would allow her to transcend gods. Five thousand HP almost. Uh, okay. How? Okay, do all of the heads hurt. Tis we right. have a platform. You're still going to be shooting spells. Okay, at least it 
Do I hit? Oop, away from that. Okay, the, at least the attack patterns are simpler. Even if not any less annoying. And I say that I need to get into another phase. Or mode. Oh, Laminate does mana instead. Oh. Oh, come on! Okay then. One last try. Yeah, let's try one last try. And I wonder is this is this the, gonna be the part we we may need, actually end up needing to grind off screen? Good chance of that, yeah. And probably to look up how the hell to dodge that stupid lightning attack. Like the dragon, we just have to be a away from her for that. Uh, I won't look up how to so even fight Bale, though. That I'll leave up to... Uh, to finding out ourselves. No, a weapon already deals dark damage. It would also, of course, help if I dodge the attacks instead of facing them full on. What the hell? The hell was that other shot there? She was still in her phase form. But does that hurt as well? Not <clears throat> like that. That is just an extremely cheap move. That second phase. There's a certain trigger that there's just seems to pull that one off at random. Yeah, I, I see. I, I can only think of Dimension Rift to dodge that. That's only like an extremely low window, extremely small window to dodge that. Out of power. Oh, well, that, that was the... <laughs> Come on. Okay, I was expecting the dragon there. Ah. 
Uh, how do we dodge that? Okay, this again. I need to stand very far, very far away. Yeah, but pretty much all weapons we have are melee. As you can pull it out so freaking fast. Yes, yes, roar to you too. Okay, so the trick is all three of the heads can hurt. The one that she appears on is the one that we can hurt. At least that platform appears to give us some aid in jumping across. Power. There's the lava. Switched heads. Ah, there she is. Ah, now, now it's moving sideways. Okay, there's only like a, a really small opening to actually attack the head. I jump right into that one okay there. okay bubbles this time okay the attack pattern differs oh uh, okay, I was not expecting that. Whatever that was. Is this... Is this partially just to survive? Is she going to die to the demon? Thank you, Silver Knight. Okay, now she's on the frog head and... Now there's two of these. Oh, that was an accidental dodge. And going to stop. Yep. Attack from above, attack from the side, and then attack from the right. Out of mana. I give you death. Uh, very poorly aimed death. Are we actually going to pull this off? Do you have anyone here? Uh, she's probably going back to the cat head now, I'm guessing. No, she would. Or what well, I did. Um, I did. Okay, you're on the human head again. Okay, what? Um.
All right then. <laughs> yeah, we may need to grind for first time actually grind levels. You know, we get a level we defeat her. Yeah, so... but that's not enough. Uh, that that might actually be an auto level, anyways, to refill your health somewhat. Uh, did our health get refilled whenever we beat her? Because I think on normally when we beat something and level up, that our health gets restored. I've never seen that happen actually. I don't think that's the case, but I see us level up before, but still be damaged and needed to go to a save point to and then get healed up. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm going to be grinding tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. And try and get the best weapons that we can get. Maybe the maybe the great swords aren't too useful because of their how slow they attack. I very much doubt that we'll be able to petrify the archdemon. Yeah, I don't think that's a good weapon for this fight. I'll, uh, let's see. And we might, we'll probably we even need to do some more exploring for the other reagents we need for, like, we still haven't found gold and all that. Yeah, I'm guessing those are just uncommon drops from monsters or rare drops. So, but to help with that, we do have some things that increase luck and it the higher the luck, you, the greater the chance something drops, I think. It is a presumption, but that's usually the case in games with luck stats. So, yes, I'll just... I'll be... Tomorrow, I'll be grinding this game for experience and materials. And then, hopefully, Thursday will be uh, beating this game. Or at least the main story of this. Yeah, it'd be nice to make some progress, uh, but it'd be also awkward if we, on first day, spend two hours to train and to defeat Bale. That just be so awkward. Yeah, but so, I yeah. don't want to. I don't want. Yeah, uh, I don't want to have to do this off screen, like with uh, that boss in Blood Omen Two. I've already forgot. I've completely forgotten their name. Stefan? No. Hmm. Marcus? It might have been oh. Marcus, but yeah, I, I don't want to have. No. If next time we don't beat Bale on screen, I'll try to beat him off screen. And record it. But. Yeah. Otherwise. I really hope we will just beat him next time. Because as I said. I'm going to be grinding. See if I can make anything better. Yeah. Wait. What level are we? 40. Are we what? Oh 40. Oh, it, the pixelation made me think 10. I was questioning. Why are we only level 10? I'll also try to stock up on whatever foods we haven't gotten. Yeah, for any stats bonus we can get will probably help. Yeah. It's good to see. So, what will it be? And yeah, I'll also just try to make better. W see if we can get our hands on better weapons. Yeah. So we. Well, I believe we. Be gonna be grinding gold at this point hmm. yeah I just equipped everything that gives a l or the, the best things that give a luck boost let's see hmm. I feel like we're gonna need as much healing potions as possible and as much food as possible as well and as you said better gear yeah. Let's see. None of this does any more damage. Like the only thing that could do any more damage is the Durandal, and that's only because it only gives damage in one type. 
I may actually make some bullets just for just for bail so we can get in some extra hits. And yeah, and just remember you do have that shortcut thing. I don't think yeah. it's in your use. The, actually how does the shortcut thing work? Have you ever used it in combat? Uh, not really. I I hold the left trigger for this. But okay, it does stop things in game. Okay, so I yeah, I'll have to redo those. It has been quite a while since we got this and actually did anything with it. So yeah, I'll just set up a few things with that. Um, one for that? combat, one for healing. Um, one for range. Yeah, but it feels like that could be a savior for us. It's good to see. What do we transmute uh, this it, time? It'll, it'll make, it'll be a lot less annoying by having to go into the main menu every time and switch things around. Yeah. And I just realized that we, d we, we didn't try fighting Dominique within. By using the invert spell. Yeah, I was thinking that, but for some reason I thought, oh wait, you probably already, already tried that. Yeah, we'll have to see that next time then. But, actually, is it just me or is the Silver Knight a lot bigger than then he started? I think so, and he looks a bit different. It might be because he's bigger and we see more detail and uh, yeah so yeah f for next time i'll be looking up uh how to dodge that freaking laser from dominique and yeah grind out as best as i can tomorrow yeah and probably even check what books we can borrow from the vampire uh, good point. He might have some new ones, but that's for me to check off screen. Yeah. So, for now, let's have a see if there's anyone actually watching. Uh, Smurge is there again. Uh, if you're not a bot, just speak up again. Some Speak up sometime, otherwise I will just start ignoring you. Uh, but I'm not going to besmirch your name. Or besmirch, it's just... Yeah, yeah your name by calling you a bot just yet. And as always, special thanks to you, Dirk here. Oh, you're most welcome. So, yeah, tomorrow I'll be grinding this game for who knows how long. Uh, and, yeah, Thursday, we'll uh, see if we can beat this game. But, as always, until then, until then. Be safe, folks.